Okay, my next video talks about um, a funeral rituals that happens in Edo State in Nigeria. And this is a ritual that a lot has tagged it, demeaning, inhumane, um, and must be stopped. In fact, the young girl who, who covered this documentary spoke about bringing this to limelight so that we can uh, speak about it. You know, we can have a dialogue, we discuss it, the necessity of this, uh, in hopes that we can bring we can bring an end to this practice. Listen. My cousin was forced to drink the water I used to wash her husband's corpse after he died. I know, very disturbing. And guess what? He was from Edo State. We're aware of the widowhood practices that happen in Nigeria and Africa in general. But this one, it definitely takes the cake. Although this doesn't happen in every part of Edo State, only in some regions. When a man dies, his wife is usually accused of being the one that kills him. And so they confine her to a room and the family members of the man come and start to accuse and interrogate the woman. My issue in all of this is that if the man, does the man also go through this? That's my question. From all my friends who are from Edo State, do men also have to go through this practices if a wife if, if a husband passes away the wife is automatically accused of the one who killed him i don't get what happened to illness accident uh i i don't get it what about the wives when they pass away are the men being accused of being the killer of these women as well of course the woman won't be defensive and she'll do anything that she can to make sure that she's proven innocent one of the rituals performed is they invoke the spirit of her husband and she has to swear her innocence before that spirit and if the family is deeply rooted in tradition they wash the dead body and make her drink the water used i mean for somebody to drink the dirty water that uh, was used, the water that was used to bathe a corpse, the husband's corpse. You have to drink it to prove your innocence. Ah, a day. I mean, what at all are we getting, looking for in this world? Hmm? So what if the husband goes and sleep around and gets some kind of illness and, and, and dies? You're going to subject the wife to this treatment? This is sad. This must be stopped. This is this is very bad. Then, when the burial proper begins, she's made to sit on tree branches. They shave her head, and she's not allowed to have a bath during the seven-day duration of the burial. They also give her food from a broken clay pot, and she's forced to eat it with her left hand. Okay, so they shave the head. Okay, that I get. That's no biggie. And then, uh, you must eat from a broken pot with your left hand. I don't know what is the significance what does that got to do with anything anybody can eat with their left hands but anyway that's culture and finally on the last day of the funeral the woman is made to go out in the dead of night to have a bath this is the most dangerous because many times the family members of her husband come to attack her except her own family members are there to protect her after all is said and done the woman goes to the riverside to bathe and the family of the husband wants to go and beat her up whether she is innocent or not there's no verification this is very sad this is indeed a practice that needs to you know needs to end you do not know how women have endured this type of treatment for centuries and it's something that we have to fight to change i would love to know your thoughts on this in the comments what are your thoughts on this please share your thoughts do you see any significance in this are we to blame women uh, whose husband passes away, like, let's say, unexpectedly. My question is, are the men enduring the same, you know, the same um, inhumane practices? If not, then I feel like it's unfair and it's unjust to do this to women. Please share your thoughts. Thank you for watching.